They'll be calling you a radical. We got a bunch of horrible breaking news coming on the nuclear front. Not one Russian nuclear reactor in trouble, but two. That's a fire in a nuclear reactor in the Ukraine. Plutonium wars are on. There's obviously a geopolitical freaking structure that's going on. We don't know. We're trying to hypothesize. We can't get anything out of there. But this is even, I think, bigger news than even that. And that's giant fucking news. The first one, thank you, Robin, down there in New Zealand. Thank you, Mimi, up there at Portland. Thank you, everybody who's working their ass off. You know, thank you to Femen in Russia. You know, I've talked to them several times. They can't get nowhere. I mean, even that, that's how lock, stock, tightened up barrel they've got this. But all you fucking asshole fucking pricks that have attacked me and went after all of us and attacked us, fuck you punks, for I fear no evil. Anytime, anytime, anywhere. Any fuck weapon of your choice. Fucking behind a fucking screen with your fucking meth and your fucking... <laughs> I mean, what a fucking bunch of losers, punks. You're either with me or you're fucking against me. It's that fucking simple. And I'm not kidding. And I'm not W. Bush because he was right. One of the few things that he did say that was right. One that he did say, what? Mission accomplished, Walker Bush, Walker Bush, Walker Bush. Fucking... United States over. The United States, a republic with a constitution. How do you get rid of the constitution? Patriot Act. Hasta la vista, baby. Barbara Boxer stepped down. She knows what I do. Barbara, I hope you know one of your people, because I'm going to send this email to you guys, this video, show up to Diablo Canyon with me. Okay, here we go. On the front page, all you people, and by the way, everybody who even thinks they're in the alternative media, which it's not alternative. I'm the alternative to the alternative, which, truth, <laughs> don't you fucking love that? How about reality, fuckers? And you'll never have any sitting in your fucking basement on a fucking keyboard. You know, this movement, my movement, the post Circus Project, fuck, of course we need fucking funding. Fuck it, every fucking environmental group, every fucking group that fucking ever does anything. You think about what I've done in the last three years compared to Greenpeace, compared to the Sierra Club, compared to fucking all of them. Think about what I've done with no money. Think what they've done with all the fucking money. You know how much money they generate a month? You fuckers will sit and write checks to them. But a person actually does it, it's like surviving cancer. It's like, if you're like, oh, God, let's come into your house. I'm the very first guy in the United States to have OS de novo, and my leukemia in my body, to walk this walk organically with no medication after the heavy fucking chemo, walk it without a bone marrow transplant and do this without fucking, I mean, on my mom, my doctors are like, I, this is unbelievable what you're doing, Kevin. You keep going. You know, and people fucking, yay, kid, yeah, keep doing all the fucking work. You know, why we sit back and fucking go after you. The New York Times, you're still waiting for confirmation. This is a big, 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 big story. Front page of the New York Times for even those fuckers. They're finally fucking getting nervous and ruling their fucking... They're nothing but... All these fuckers, politicians, aren't nothing but fucking bitches on a leash. And they've enjoyed being the bitch on the beach because they throw them a little fucking caviar in their fucking... fucking dog dish. You know, that's all they've been. They're far to see their owners have fucking killed the ocean. I mean, this comes out, by the way, I was on this campus. This professor who's coming out with this and this big bra on his, but here's the problem. These guys sit in there like this, in their fucking office, got grad students teaching their fucking class. I was one of them, but I wasn't one of them. I was a professor, but I'm the old school professor, chalking on the line, fuck you, going crazy, fucking intense, half fucking two tests, like the old school. You walk in, you take your midterm, you take your fucking final. Period. I don't give a fuck. You show up class, you know the information, you know the information. But I was in the field. That's what professors did. They had to create something. They had to fucking go do something. That's how it worked. Not now. So these guys are sitting in their office and talking among you. Oh, well, God, I think maybe the ocean's on the verge of the greatest ecological catastrophe. Hello, fuckers! Hello! Fucking starfish fucking dead. Fucking, the fucking... Hundreds of thousands of squids wash ashore in Santa Cruz. I talked to a woman, 95 years old, a naturalist, walk up and down, who knows me. Kevin, I've walked right there my whole life. This is not red tide. I've never seen anything like it. I fucking talked to fucking photographers that are showing fucking pink film, showing up on their film, fucking lifetime, professional photographer, great ones all up and down. Three of them have told me the exact story, story independently, and none of me know each other. 
Fucking, I have fucking watched it, witnessed it with my eyes. I've walked up and down that fucking beat. My fucking walk, I've already done my walk several fucking times. Why well, I'm in critical condition, why the rest of you fuckers sit there and just attack me on a fucking keyboard. You're either with me or you're fucking without me. It's that fucking simple. And I've been fighting to save the Pacific Ocean. I've been fighting to save your life. I've been fighting for my life full of leukemia. I've been fighting for my friends who fucking died. Watch them die fucking mowed down in the fucking prime of their fucking lives. This is a big fucking story. These things are coming apart. This is a catastrophe. The greatest ecological catastrophe in fucking human history is happening right here. Not going to happen. You're all worried about all the dollars going to crash. The dollars fucking in the deep making fucking 12, 13 year old fucking highs. You know, you're going to hoard your fucking gold bars and you're going to hold your fucking wealth white, you know, and you're getting older and you're going to hunker down. And you're going to, oh, I'm going to leave it to my kids. <laughs> you know what they're going to do with it? Go to Vegas and fucking blow it. That's what they're going to do. They're just going to fuck it off. It's, just gonna, it's not going to do them any good. And fuck, it's proof, proof. You know, it's amazing to me. I stood on the pier, got in a physical confrontation with the head of Greenpeace. Why don't you tell these fucking baby cubs that you're exploiting? They don't believe in your fuck cause. You give them twenty dollars for every person you sign up. Why don't you tell them where you live? You live in the trestle. Why don't you tell them about your house? Oh no, he didn't want to hear that shit. And he come at me. Told me I was raising my voice. I says I remember when you used to raise your voice. He come at me, fuck thing. I fucking cracked him right in the fucking neck. I fight back. I fight fucking back. Always have bullies. Fuck. I'm not afraid of any of you motherfuckers. None of you. For the angels, they're with me. The spirits are with me. There's no fucking doubt. They're fucking with me. I have fucking done this like an organic mutated fucking sunflower fucking blowing in the wind. I just let people attach to me, come to me, whatever, whatever, and I just fucking go because that's the way this has to be. Post ignorance is organic like me. I'm I'm really organic, not the fake fucking organic fucking beef fucking ranging in the Bundy fucking ranch and fucking drinking fucking radioactive fucking contaminated water coming right off the fucking burn facility, which I showed you that on video too. You don't give a fuck about fucking video evidence. You don't give a fuck about the reality. You're still waiting for confirmation. Well, here it is from the New York fucking Times. Your darling. Maybe the Washington Post next. Maybe credibility not needed is in their fucking pounded fucking war drums. Fucking war profiteers, bitches. Maybe they'll give you fucking confirmation. What more do you fucking want? Do you know what a catastrophe the fucking ocean dying? This is fucking so fucking up. Uh, I mean, wow. How about the Pacific Ocean? Wow. Just the fucking geography alone. Just the food basket alone. But think about the spirituality of that. You know, the marine layer raises up off that water and fucking rolls in. You know, and, <laughs> oh, go inside? What the fuck's that do? Fuck, what, you, do you know nothing about the construction, about the fucking construction in your house? You have a hair exchange on your house? What, you think your filter on your furnace is going to catch it? You know, it's like a, you know, when I was an athlete, you'd go up against a really great defense. I coached for years around here, and we had championship teams. And, I, you know, I wasn't one of these guys that picked. I just took the community. And my, you, you talk to them. I run into them all the time. You know, they still call me coach. You know, I was not this abusive asshole like a lot of those fuckers were to me. No, they love me. They respect me. That's why I'm always nice to the kids. Because they grow up to be men. And I'm fighting for them. Fuck these fucking baby boomer pieces of shit. They're gone. And that's what they're going to leave in their fucking legacy. You know, there's been a lot of legacies fucking left, and I'm going there too, and I'm going to protest there. You know, and you can sit and fucking have your fucking conversations, your PhD. You know, I've got a fucking P. I've got two PhDs, by the way. Post ignorance, you know, fucking amazing to me. But I'm not about to fucking join that fucking club. I'm not about to join your fucking baby boomer contemporary club. No, you know, it's, I can't believe it's this abstract and this fucking lonely to fight for the environment. To be an environmental, I mean, it's fucking sickening. This arrogant, sickening, grotesque, they don't give a fuck. Fucking meltdown's going into fucking Ukraine. Wow. I mean, they're going to kill you. Do you not understand these fucking meltdowns are going to kill you? You not get that? It takes time to get cancer and mutate in your body. Genetically fucking kill you. And it's not pleasant. And it's going to extract, all your money's going to get extracted from you anyway. When you're in the fucking hospital at Scripps. Or Huntsman, oh, you're doing good. Here, here, fuck, have some fucking, a little bit of fucking caviar. Oh, you're, oh, fuck, you're dead. Yeah. And I got news for you. Life is a test, and your soul's going to be sucked into a fucking black hole for time and eternity. And, you know, this, the way people abuse this genre of YouTube, this incredible, powerful, powerful genre, this is an art form, please. This is a visual fucking literature, fucking visual blue, whatever. 
I mean, we haven't even quantified the word for it, but it's been abused. It's not fucking a radio show. It's not a fucking... I mean, that's pathetic. That's fucking... No, it, it's, it's powerful. I mean, simultaneous around the world like that. You know, you're either with me or you're against me, and I don't give a fuck, and apparently everybody's fucking against me. I can't believe what small army... I can't believe people say, oh, yeah, kill me, yeah, please. Fuck it, please. You know, wow. I'm to the point. You know, how ugly. What are we going to, you know, like I said, what are we, I'll, I have my list and I'm going to put in that bag and present to the museum when I'm there. You know, when they were presenting fucking dead Indians there and their brains, you know, we did that, you know, collecting different species, their butterfly collection that's in there, you know, the dinosaurs, well, you know, we're turning the earth, we're, you know, we're the new fucking dinosaurs. We're going to make so many fucking species extinct. It's happening right fucking now. Some of those spectacular, incredible creatures in fucking history. Bald eagles. The fucking greaves. The blue herons right here. We're making them extinct. We're talking ancient, ancient, ancient. Some of the oldest species on earth. Sea lions. Fucking wells. I saw a pot of wells at fucking Point Reyes. It was so spectacular. You know, that baby fucking leopard seal. You know, fucking arrogant fuckers, the starfish. I mean, the, we're fucking going to make them extinct. And it's our generation. Look what we've done to our fucking baby wolves. Look what we've done to our cubs. Look what we've done to them. Fucking $18 trillion debt. Don't step out of line, Johnny. Johnny, get your fucking gun. We have fucking a mass murder right here in Utah. We have a mass murder. We have a serial killer in Utah. His name is Jason Vincent. He's killed two people now, and he has a badge, and he has a cop, and he has a whole gang behind them. It's amazing what we're fucking doing. Not me, motherfuckers. Not me. I'll fight this on my own. I'm to the point, fuck it. I mean, I'm really sick of fucking people. I, you know, I, I mean, I'm fighting for them, but they sure fucking, wow. You know, bring it on. Fucking bring it on. I fear no evil because I've walked through the valley of the darkness of death. You know, I really have. I've been to the edge, and I've stood and looked down, and I've seen so many of my friends fucking die. What a rage of f wrath of fucking death we've had the last few weeks. I mean, amazing Chad at his keyboard. So fucking sad. Chad was awesome. He's one of the ones I really fucking like. You know, he and I at the Shirtwaist Fire paying our respects. My uncle over here, Rip, he, you know, passed. He was awesome. He was an amazing man. Last of the Mohicans, I told his wife. He was the real deal, man of honor, man of dignity, man of love. My old fucking horse bed fucking buddy from the old days. Tommy took a heart attack and died Tuesday. Wow. Life short, very fucking short. And people say, you need to enjoy your life? Fuck, I enjoy my life every fucking day. You know? You don't know what fucking joy is. I'm out in the environment, in the wilderness. I mean, watch me go where I go. When I'm out, you know, in Knoxville, Tennessee, or, you know, paddling canoe. I'm in the museums, I'm in the streets, I'm out looking at the wildlife. I've walked up and down that beach so many fucking times in my fucking life, I've walked all the way around the Grosse Lake. I mean, I'm all over. I'm out inside the environment, with my environment. It's a very joyful place. It's a very, and not on a fucking snowmobile, lazy skiers, or fuck skiers that can't ski, surfers that can't surf, you know. No, I'm not trying to create some false bravado fucking image with a surfboard on a fucking old fucking, you know, on a fucking souped up pickup truck that I can't surf. I'm not going up to ski resort and hanging around drinking fucking, you know, $30 cocktails like Mike Lee does at Snowbird, fucking trying to tell everybody what I am, living in a big fake house that I can't afford. When I lived in that fucking house, I built that house with fucking cash. Hmm. With, you know, amazing. People around here know my fucking journey. You know, the media and everybody pulls back on me. Of course they're going to pull back. They're not going to give a guy like me a platform. Of course they're going to click on, ooh, the truth's a motherfucker right now. Because the facade that everyone's built up, they know deep down they're subconscious. And i got to prove they all fucking know. Fish consumption in California down 50%. They all know. It's like a fucking molested child. It's like a sexually abused fucking child, you know? I've been with women that I didn't know that had long-term relationships that had been hardcore sex and I didn't know. You know, I got tricked and then when they finally told me and then you try to have a conversation with them, they're not about to go there. That's what Fukushima is to a California. That's exactly what it is. 
you know, to the media when you start talking about the cops fucking wasting people just for the fucking joy of fucking killing people, handing over fucking gods of money to firemen and police. Oh, they're heroes! When they know they're not heroes. Fuck, they know. Fuck, they don't do nothing all fucking day. Just fucking jacked up, fuck getting their club, fucking app each other up like a bunch of fucking, you know, weak hyenas, donut-eating, overweight hyenas. You know, I have lots of friends that are cops, that are great cops. And by the way, my two very good close friends that I played hardball baseball with clear into my 50s. I played hard pitch fucking fastback with big time guys, ex-guys from the major leagues clear into my fucking, until I got cancer. Both of them have taken the early outs. And they're both longtime police officers, cops. They're great fucking guys. In fact, I want them to do a video with me. And they've got out. They says, fuck, I, I don't want that fucking club. You know, because they're good fucking men. They're good people. You know, it's not, it's... Good cop, bad cop, it's good person, bad person, and, and the good is so fucking tiny anymore. Like I said, you're either with me or you're without me, and I've fucking learned, you know? Want to suck some information for me? Go fucking ahead. I'll record history. I'll fucking record history. I'll do it for you, because life's a fucking test. You know, there's a reason I was given fucking life, when I should have died. You know, the, the survival rate of the disease I have, people don't survive it, ever, especially a guy my age. It doesn't happen. Oh, I've survived because the light it shines inside of me. And you will never take that from me, including that fucking light, right down to my bone marrow. And yours, too. This thing's coming apart. The great American fucking radioactive experiment has failed, and you don't give a fuck. Fucking go to fucking eat your hamburgers, fucking fat, overweight pill poppers. You know, that's what proves it all to me. Look at the fucking pill fucking popping epidemic. Because none of you fuckers can sleep with yourselves at night. How could you? Because still, everybody says they're all sociopaths. No, no, they're not all sociopaths. They're conscious. They mask over their fucking conscious. Their cerebral cortex doesn't work. It cannot view art. It cannot see art. It has no under fucking standing about nature and fucking anything. Fuck, they got no clue. I mean, they're stuck in a box in a subdivision in a fucking hole in a big fucking ugly styrofoam fucking fake rock fucking fake fucking stucco fucking piece of fucking molded shit. They're paying so much fucking property taxes on the county seat because they're trying to impress the fucking neighbor or fucking Uncle Willie. Fucking whatever. It's fucking grotesque. Think they're going to get a fucking female that way. Who wants one of those females? Money for nothing and your chicks for free. Have you seen those chicks? You don't want one. Fucking, you don't want one. So, I'll fight this. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll be okay, and I'm going to keep fighting it. By the way, probably my activism is better off when I'm doing it on my own anyway. And by the way, that painting I put up yesterday is so fucking ugly I had to take it down because I can't even stand fucking looking at it. It almost made me fucking throw up. You know, I'm trying to match fucking Vincent's ugly fucking sunflowers to pay fucking my respects and to thumbprint this fucking ugly fucking place like he did. Like he did. He flipped the flower, fucking the sunflower. He flipped it. That's what I'm trying to fucking do to pay my respects to the greatest artist that ever fucking lived, Vincent Van Gogh, Michelangelo. My respects. I'm not a sculptor. I'd be, I'd be sculpting Moses right now. It's 500 years right now. He was finishing it right now as we speak 500 years ago. So I have took it down. You know, and this is for Ackerman. Wow, that's one fucking ugly piece of art. I gotta do some work on it. I, and I'm working on it. You know, so back at it. Work in progress. The greatest ecological catastrophe in fucking human history is fucking going on. No one gives a fuck. Stay tuned.